Welcome to the Longevity Optimization Podcast, where we discuss longevity, optimal health, nutrition, peak performance, cognitive excellence, and so much more. Well, Catherine, it's a pleasure to have you here with me today. Oh, good, good. <laughs> but I like it to just, I like yeah. to be casual too. So it's so. great to be here and what a beautiful space to have an interview. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, we were, it's it's nice, uh, clean. I feel like it's an easy, easy place to think. So yeah. um, today we're going to be talking about all things spirulina, energy chlorella. bits, chlorella, algae. And I'm really excited because, you know, um, I've been aware of your product for many years and I take it, but I'm excited to really dive deep and learn a lot more about it because yeah. for me, you know, it's one of those things I know is good for me, but I can't wait to learn more about why. Yeah. So well, I'm here to tell the why because nobody else is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that. So, okay. First of all, let's talk a little bit about your background. Like what brought you to this place that you wanted to start developing a product of this nature? How does someone become an algae nutrition expert? I know it's very esoteric. Uh, and I tell people I didn't choose algae. It chose me. Um, I'm actually Canadian. All my family's still in Canada. And I mentioned that because um, the story started really in Canada. Um, I've been living in Boston for the last 35 years, although I'm on my way to move to Miami. Wow. I'm excited about that. And uh, I have an MBA and I was doing international business as a career. Um, and then 15 years ago, my younger sister, who I'm very close to, developed breast cancer. She lives in Canada. Now, um, her, fortunately, her oncologist, and by, by the way, I want everyone to know she completely healed and we celebrate her being cancer free every okay. year. And I'll be seeing her next week for our annual girls trip. Aww, <laughs> love that. So, um, but 15 years ago, as she was preparing for her chemotherapy, her oncologist, which is a cancer specialist, told her she needed to change her diet to an alkaline diet as she was preparing for chemo. Now, they didn't tell her what a chemo, uh, alkaline diet was or why specifically it was good for her. So the first call my sister made was to me, her big sister who loves her. I knew nothing about nutrition, nothing, like many people the, uh, who may be listening to this, but I love my sister, so I, and I'm a good researcher. Mm. So I said, I have no idea, but I will find out. It turned out it was mostly a plant-based diet because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll that have been proven to build your immune system. And when you go through chemo, you need a strong immune system. Also, it turned out, and I found this out, that uh, there was a German scientist by the name of Otto Warburg, W-A-R-B-E-R-G. And back in the 30s, he won a Nobel Prize for discovering that cancer cannot exist in cells that are slightly, uh, slightly alkaline. So because my sister's oncologist wanted her to have an alkaline diet, I believe this was one of the reasons she wanted to be sure that her cells were slightly alkaline. And we can go into a little bit more about what this alkaline diet is and why it is so important for people and why most people are acidic. So anyways, I dug some research, did some research, found some foods for her. She did go through chemo, completely healed. And um, thank God for that and, we, and happy ending. But in the process of helping her, I started learning about plant-based nutrition. Now this was 15 years ago and nobody was talking about it then. So I thought, man, I need to learn more about this. So I gave up my corporate career of 25 years. I went back to school. I went to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, which was a school in New York. Now it's mostly on, or pretty much only online. Mm -hmm. And I got a health coaching certificate, a little bit of nutrition, a lot of coaching. So then I put a curriculum together and I taught plant-based nutrition at corporations and hospitals. And this is what truly led me to algae because as I was teaching people the importance of eating vegetables because I'd mm -hmm. seen the value of plant-based nutrition. Um, they basically laughed at me and they said, oh, my mother's been trying to get me to eat vegetables forever, I, but I don't like them or they give me gas or they go bad or they're too heavy to carry home and my kids won't eat them and a thousand reasons why they weren't going to eat vegetables. So I thought, okay, I have to find something that gives people this valuable nutrition of vegetables without any of the work, without any of the gas that doesn't go bad. And I just looked at everything I'd found for my sister. And when I got to algae, that's when the miracle happened. That's when I was like Alice in Wonderland falling down the rabbit hole. It was incredible because algae is the most alkaline food in the world. So that box was checked. The most nu nutrient dense food in the world. That's a quote from NASA. We, NASA says one gram of algae has a thousand times more nutrition than any other fruit or vegetable. Hmm. So that box was checked. United Nations has endorsed spirulina algae as the answer to world hunger since 1974. That's 50 years ago. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it has the highest protein in the world. Um, algae is also the most studied food in the world. There are almost 100,000, 
a hundred thousand, not ten, not a hundred, not a thousand, not ten, a hundred thousand studies documenting all the benefits of algae, spirulina, and chlorella, Heart, preventing inflation, inflammation, preventing. Wouldn't it be nice if it prevents yeah, inflation? Like, That's a great benefit. <laughs> uh, prevents heart disease, uh, <clears throat> prevents uh, cancer, helps prevent gut health. It, the, the list is endless. And then on top of it all, in Asia. Well, first of all, algae has been used for centuries in, in, uh, by the Egyptians, by the Aztecs, and for the last 65, almost 70 years, um, they've been using it in Asia, t- you know, t- um, Japan, China, India, daily. Beca- and it's a multi-billion, that's with a B, billion-dollar agricultural crop. Algae is not a supplement. I'm going to say that again because it's very important for people to understand it. It is not a supplement. We'll talk about where algae came from and the fact that, yes, there is algae in the ocean, in the lakes and the rivers, and that's not what we're talking about today. We're, well, it's, we're talking about a subgroup of algae, which is harvested as a food crop, hydroponically in fresh water. And then it's air dried and pressed into these little tiny tablets that we call bits because they're bits of nutrition. So it's a whole food. It's ketogenic. It's zero carb. It's uh, vegan, paleo, ancestral and the most nutrient-dense food in the world, 40 vitamins and minerals used safely around the world. And so each one of these tablets has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. There's almost a pound of vegetables in each one of these tablets because microalgae, and we'll talk about the different algae in a minute, microalgae is about, um, it's called microalgae because it's microscopic to the eye. You can get something like a million microalgae on the head of a pin. So when you consolidate all the nutrition into a tiny tablet like this, that's why you can understand why it's so nutrient dense. So kids and men, you don't like vegetables? Here's your answer. Uh, If you don't like, if if you are worried about eating vegetables because they give you gas, here's your answer. Spirulina has zero fiber, so you can even give it to newborns. This is Mm. the safest, purest, easiest digested, nutrient dense food in the world. If it's grown carefully, there's a big distinction if it's grown carefully and we'll explain what makes us different. But so now people who don't like vegetables because they're too much work to make, they too heavy to carry home for the grocery store. They go bad too quickly. By the way, our LG tablets have a three year expiry date on them. So certainly don't go bad. And you can take them anywhere. You can take them to the gym. You can take them to the, on your shopping trip, on your holiday, uh, just walking around. They satisfy your hunger. If you're on a GLP-1, please take these because this, these will give you all the nutrients that you're not getting if you're because you're not eating. Uh, they help with weight loss, energy. Olympic teams use them. It's crazy what this stuff does, but it has to be grown carefully to preserve the nutrients, um, and that's what we do. So we grow ours in Taiwan, but... People don't know about algae because it's not grown here and no one's taken the time to to tell you the science about it. So that's what we do. Well, I'm so excited that you're here to do so. Yes, thank you. Um, I want to go back to the protein thing. So how much protein, so let's just say, let's talk about like dosage, Yeah. Dosages. So there are 30 little tablets in this pack, right? Yes. And you recommend doing this one once per day? Well, um, and we'll get to this when we got to get to the different algae and what they do. Um, we know there's 30, we sell them in large bags. They're the best, the most economical, and there's a thousand yeah. tablets in a bag. And, and we generally recommend for most people, take 10 tablets of spirulina in the morning and 10 tablets of chlorella at night. And I'll explain the morning and the night part later on when we get into the difference between the two of them. So 10 tablets, that's giving you the equivalent nutrition of about almost 10 pounds of vegetables. Um, and it's bioavailable, instantly absorbed. Now, if you have a health condition, we certainly recommend the full 30 tablets because it's more of a medicinal healing amount of nutrition. And we'll, we'll get into some of the particular nutrients. But in terms of the protein, so what you need to know with protein, let's say animal protein, your body can't absorb animal protein the way it is. It's it, because the protein is all bound up in amino acids. Your body can only absorb protein as an amino acid. So it can take up to three days for your body to break down the protein into amino acids. And if you don't have the factors and cofactors, you may you generally don't absorb you know up to maybe sometimes ten percent. So let's say you had fifty grams of chicken. Well, your body may only or, or absorb ten percent of that, which ends up in as five grams of aminos. So, because whatever you're eating as protein doesn't always 
equal the aminos. With algae, the protein is already in individual aminos. So there's nothing for your body to break down and it's instantly absorbed, particularly spirulina, because it is not even a plant. It is actually technically a bacteria. It's called a cyanobacteria, which in mm. fact was the first life on earth and we'll get to that later on. So, so this is why with no cellulose wall for your body to break down, the, all the nutrients, including the protein, are immediately absorbed. So one of the pouches of 30 tablets has five grams of aminos. But if you had 50 grams of protein, animal protein, and you, you, many people only absorb 10% as aminos, that 50 grams of pro, animal protein is equivalent to five aminos, which is exactly uh, what you get from the 30 uh, tablets in, in the, uh, of, of the spirulina tablets. So I call it very efficient nutrition uh, because it's, uh, um, it's not just what you eat, it's what you absorb. And a lot of people have um, uh, compromised digestive tracts. They have an autoimmune system or autoimmune disease. Um, there's lectins and oxalates in lots of vegetables that, like nightshades or um, kale or spinach. There are no lectins or oxalates in algae. And for people who don't know what lectins or oxalates are, they are sharp proteins that are found in plants, particularly in these nightshade vegetables like tomatoes and eggplants or kale and spinach. And they, what, the, what the plants evolutionarily did is they developed these sharp prote proteins to protect themselves from bugs and predators because it hurts their tummies too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> algae came from the ocean, did never have to protect itself from, uh, land, from, land, from, um, from land um, bugs or animals. So that's why there's no lectins or oxalates in algae. So paleo people, listen up. This has the nutrients you're missing and none of the anti-nutrients you don't want. So, uh, but very efficient protein uh, has 18 of the aminos, by the way, of the 20, including the nine your body can't make. So it's a complete protein. Mm -hmm. So um, it's number one in my books for, for protein, whether you're trying to add protein or just have, a, um, you know, balance your blood sugar with it. Uh, if you're hypoglycemic or you're just tired and hungry, the stuff gets in your bloodstream so quickly. It's amazing. I love that. So let's talk about the other nutrient, like the whole nutrient profile of this. So let's say you're taking the 10 tablets of the spirulina in the morning. What are you able to expect from that? Like as what vitamins, minerals, nutrients? Um, well, I don't have the nutrient chart in front of me. There's over 40, uh, nice. all, as I said, 18 of the 20 aminos. Then it's loaded with all of your minerals, all of your electrolytes, magnesium, potassium, calcium. It's loaded with vitamin A, all your, all your B vitamins, iron. One of the reasons... Um, uh, well, spirulina, we call ours energy bits because it gives you energy at the cellular level. Now, this is different from a stimulant. A stimulant will give you um, a burst of energy, sort of like putting paper on a fire. You get a burst mm -hmm. and then a crash. This gives you cellular energy, and we'll talk about that later on, I hope, because mitochondria are what generate all of your cellular energy. And mitochondria are the most important thing for people to be aware of because as you get older, they become damaged um, or they die. And so you have less cellular energy, which means your body doesn't have enough to do anything properly, whether it's defend you from an immune uh, or from a virus or a cold or uh, chronic disease. So all the nutrients in here, are they're balanced because algae came from mother nature. I can't take credit for spirulina or chlorella. They're a gift to us from mother nature. I will take credit for growing it so carefully to preserve the nutrients. We grow it in triple filtered spring mountain water, which is important because algae will absorb whatever's in the water. So most algae actually in America, anywhere in the world comes from China. And they're very, they're, they're not as meticulous in their, um, the way they grow it or the certifications. We grow ours in Taiwan. And the most important thing about us is we do not use high heat to dry our algae to preserve all these 40 vitamins and minerals. And there's some really important ones I hope we talk about, like the blue pigment that's found in spirulina nowhere else in the world. It's called phycocyanin. It's spelled P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-N-A-N-I-N. -I, I, think I, I think I spelled that right. Um, and the reason why this is so important for people to know about is because it's proven to kill cancer cells mm. and yet it's damaged by high heat. So virtually all the other algae, lower priced algae companies 
um, who are using high heat because they are lower priced, so they have to sell more to make money, so they cut corners to get to market, so they use high heat, and the high heat kills that blue pigment. So mm -hmm. you may be getting other benefits from the algae, but you're not getting the cancer-killing capabilities of this blue phycocyanin. And by the way, you could always get this blue phycocyanin in, in raw or fresh spirulina. Um, and raw or fresh spirulina is what's used at very prestigious healing centers like the Hippocrates Institute, which is based in Florida, Palm Beach, and the Gershon Institute, the, which actually operates out of Mexico. These are two places that take stage three and stage four cancer patients um, and have a 90% success rate in helping them get back on get back on their health. And one of the things they give them is raw spirulina every single day. And it's because of the high nutrient capability, but also I believe because of this blue pigment, phycocyanin, that uh, helps kill cancer cells. So, so when you get spirulina or chlorella, which are a food, again, that we call them bits because they're bits of food, and there's this, this orchestra, I call it the orchestra of nutrition because the great thing about food, particularly algae, is that because it comes from nature, and so do we, um, all of the nutrients have all the factors and cofactors and enzyme and coenzymes that, that allow them to be absorbed um, efficiently and they leverage each other. So they're in the right proportions. It's like mother's breast milk. In fact, I'm the one that did the analysis and found out that the nutrient profile of spirulina is almost identical to the nutrients in mother's breast milk. How wow. amazing is that? that is same amazing. aminos, same proportion, and there's a very important essential fatty acid called GLA, gamma linoleic acid. And the only place that has more of it than spirulina is mother's breast milk. And the mm -hmm. reason is because it, it's very important to, that helps. It's an essential fatty acid that helps the baby's brain develop. Mm -hmm. So when you take spirulina, you are getting the orchestra of nutrition because harmonies, like an orchestra, there's harmonies that you just don't get when you listen to a soloist. Yeah. And so when you take individual uh, supplements, you're getting, it's like listening to individual soloists. It's just a single note or a single sound. And they don't uh, leverage and synergize one another like you do when you get the, the nutrients from spirulina or chlorella. Um, so I'm, I'm, that's why I think we, I told you before, um, I'm over twice your age and I do not take any other uh, supplements except spirulina and chlorella. I take it religiously every day and have for 50, 15 years. And um, I also don't take any medications and I have no diseases. I love so, that. So, I mean, it's so incredibly rare, even as we were talking for people, you know, my age in their early 30s or even their late 20s, or it's it's really, I mean, as we both know, we're facing this like chronic disease epidemic and it's crazy. It's just simply wild. Well, really our is. food has no, and we can get to this, the reason why people are getting so sick so early our food has no nutrition anymore because our soils are so monocrop. There's no minerals left in the soils for the plants to pull up, and then they harvest them before they're ripe. So the enzymes and the minerals don't even make it out to the leaves or the or the fruit. And then they're put on a boat and they're stuck in a warehouse and they lose their nutrient value. By the time yeah. they get to your plate, you've lost 90% of the nutrients, even if you're eating organic. And then, of course, there's so many processed foods, even if I know how special, how focused you are in good nutrition, but it's, it's a full-time job it trying is. to find food that's healthy. And so this is why I call spirulina your nutritional insurance. It gives you mm -hmm. everything you need in the right proportions, and it's food. So you can have, we, we try to get people to start at 10. You could take less, but you won't feel as much as you would from 10. But take as much as you want. We have NHL players that... They have 75 spirulina tablets, energy bits before a game because they want focus and energy on the ice. Um, and I take more than that myself. <laughs> I love that. No, that's, that's wonderful. So how, how, when you're growing the spirulina, so as you mentioned, like vegetables and don't have the same nutrient content as they used to because therefore the, or the minerals are depleted and nutrients are depleted from the soil. So when you're growing the spirulina, how does it become so nutrient dense? Well, it's it's just in its it's in its DNA. This this is um, like I, you know, I mentioned earlier. Spirulina is what's called a cyanobacteria. It's a type of bacteria, mm. and um, and it was the first life on Earth. Cyanobacteria. It's proven. It's 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 been here almost four billion years. And wow. um, before cyanobacteria, 
Earth was just gas and water. Nothing lived. Nobody mm-hmm. knows why cyanobacteria started, but it did. And then uh, it generates it generated ATP, or um, which is a byproduct, is oxygen. So within a billion years, there was now oxygen on Earth. So other plants could grow like chlorella and then other plants. And then eventually we showed up, to, you know, just 200 million years later. But I mentioned that because it started as this single cell that took, you know, takes light and converts it to, to, to energy, to food. It's, we don't um, add anything to it. This is, this is evolutionarily what feeds all of the animals in the ocean, the whales, the fish, by the way, uh, algae, uh, generates 85% of the oxygen on Earth. Phytoplankton is a is a is a type of algae. Uh, seaweed is a type of algae. We'll go into the types I hope later on. Because but this is a microalgae. So so when we we grow it and and as I mentioned, algae is everywhere. But the t- and there's tens of thousands of strains of microalgae. The one most people know about is blue green, and another one is green. Spirulina is just one strain of blue of blue green algae, mm-hmm. and and it's known and it's used and grown as a cultivated crop because in in Asia they just in Japan they just started growing it 60 years ago and say with chlorella and it caught on because of the nutrient value. By the way, is it, you know the Aztecs feed them fed themselves with spirulina as well, so we grow it so carefully to, as I said, to make sure it's safe because algae will absorb whatever's in the water. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people get mad at algae and they think it's bad for you because they hear about toxic algae blooms closing their favorite beach. Well, what people don't know is algae is the cleanup crew. It -hmm. absorbs toxins and kills bacteria. It does that in water and it does the same thing in your body. So when you see an algae bloom, it's only there to protect you because, so it's cleaning up stuff Mm -hmm. that you didn't see. You can see the algae. You still want to stay away from the algae because it's been absorbing all the toxins, so it's still clearly toxic. And by the way, it's not spirulina. That's just another strain of blue-green algae. Mm. Um, so, so the key is that algae will absorb whatever's in the water. Never, ever take algae that's grown in a lake or a river or ocean because you cannot keep microtoxins out of wild bodies of water. There's a company, I won't name them, they grow their algae in Klamath Lake. Please don't use that. I have scientific papers that has pro- that proves there's microtoxins in that lake and microtoxins in that in that algae. There's never. I took me years to find a lab. We do third party lab tests here in the United States for nutritionals and toxins and metals, and we have another lab that tests for microtoxins. It took me two years to find them, uh, and we never have any because we grow our water, our algae in triple filtered spring mountain water. So spirulina is grown in long, narrow uh, farms because it's called spirulina because it grows in a spiral. Mm-hmm. And you start by putting the, you know, the little tiny little organisms into the water and it just, it just grows on its own. Mm-hmm. Chlorella is a much more complicated algae it has to st- and it's grown in round farms. They're very shallow, um, but chlorella, you have to start in a lab with a small test tube and it grows to a certain size and then you grow put it in a larger test tube and then a larger one, a larger one. Then you move it outdoors and put it in a small pond and then a bigger pond. It's very complicated. Mm, sounds Spirulina like is much easier to grow. But in both cases, that we grow it in very, very clean water, so it never absorbs toxins. And then I tell people, making algae is not like growing, or growing algae is not like growing broccoli or, or tomatoes. It's more like making wine. Mm. And so... When you make wine, a number there's a lot of aspects that affect the quality and the taste. One is the angle of the sun. So Taiwan is unique because of the location. It's known as the gold standard for algae in terms of mm. concentration and value, nutrient value, and that's where we grow ours. Although, interestingly, I drew a line across the earth from Taiwan, and I got to Florida. Mm. And Florida has virtually identical t- climate as wow. Taiwan. And my long-term plan is to grow it he- here in Florida. And I know we can, but that's a, that's a good five years out, uh, maybe even 10, because it's going to take a lot of money to build a farm here. Nonetheless, so it's the angle of the sun and also the, how you grow it and dry it. With, with wine, the way you, you, you dry it and preserve it affects everything. So same with algae. And I, I mentioned earlier, we don't use high heat. Not only does it preserve, by not using high heat, we preserve that 
blue pigment in spirulina called phycocyanin. We also prefer, pre, um, preserve very, very, very important antioxidants. One, one is called glutathione, which uh, many people know about. The most important one most people have, may have never heard of, although I know David Sinclair does, uh, it's called superoxide dismutase. Very long mouthful, also known as SOD. What does this antioxidant do? It Deact- it protects your mitochondria from free radical damage, and we'll get into that in a little bit longer. But it's not just an antioxidant, it's also an enzyme. And when you use high heat on enzymes, you deactivate them. Anybody who uh, likes raw food knows that you can't cook your vegetables over 114 degrees because it kills the enzymes. And so, um, and enzymes are, cr- I think they're used in like 400 body processes, but not just digestion. They're used in everything, enzymatic processes in your entire body. And this superoxidismutase, there's 25,000 studies in scientific papers documenting how it stops inflammation, prevents heart disease, Alzheimer's. It's like the gold standard for protect for helping prevent chronic diseases. But your body stops making it after the age of 30. And we'll talk about this later because I think this is why most people are getting chronic disease after the age of 30 because their body no longer makes this superoxidismutase, which it does from the moment you're born. And, it, and I, I refer to superoxidismutase sort of like a big golf umbrella. Um, that protects your mitochondria. Because you know if you're in a rainstorm and you have one of those big golf umbrellas, you're laughing because it doesn't matter how hard it's raining, you're you're under this huge protection. Yeah. That's what superoxide dismutase from the moment you're born until about 30, it protects you from the free radicals that are a byproduct of ATP production, which is mm-hmm. the cellular energy. Now, you, you, you can't stop AP, ATP production because then you'll die. This, this is what gener- this is your electricity for life. Yeah. So you, you want the ATP, but there's these free radicals and they damage your mitochondria DNA. But by the time you're 30, your body's not making it anymore. So that big golf umbrella is shrunk down to about the size, what I've, I say, like a totes city umbrella. Mm-hmm. So you're getting more and more damage being done, which is when people start seeing all kinds of symptoms starting to manifest. And then by the time you're 35 or 40, you're done. There are zero superoxidismutase uh, antioxidants being produced. And this is when chronic disease really hits weight gain, diabetes, heart disease, cancer. And I believe it's because of the superoxidismutase. So your body's not making it. You can't find it in any, any other food, but it's in the highest concentration in spirulina and a second highest is chlorella, but only if it's not exposed to high heat, which most of the algae companies do. Wow. Crazy, right? Hi guys, I'm going to interrupt this episode for a brief announcement. As you may or may not know, I started a community for females by females, and it's a female longevity optimization community. This is a place that you can connect with like-minded women. We are all here to support each other, and there's a variety of different benefits to being a member. You get a monthly Ask Me Anything, so submit your questions and I'll answer them directly. We also have an entire library of courses on all of the important components of longevity, such as labs, nutrition, exercise, sleep optimization, longevity optimization protocols that I'm doing, along with real-time updates to my personal protocols. There are so many benefits of being a member of the community. We'll also be doing in-person live events here in California and virtual events for anyone that can't attend. But if you're interested in joining the community, I would absolutely love to see you there. And I will include a link in the show notes. Let's parse out the difference or the benefits between spirulina and chlorella. So your recommendation is to do the spirulina in the morning, which obviously will help energy and it seems to be working on the mitochondria mechanisms. Yes. And then what about what other benefits in the chlorella or sorry, the spirulina spirulina. bucket? Well, it satisfies your hunger. It's loaded with essential fatty acids like omega-3. Now, if you compare the number of omega-3 to other supplements, it may not be as high, but again... It, think of the orchestra. It, it, it reactivates, it activates the other nutrients who, that also activate that. And then there's other ones like GLA, which is the highest in spirulina, second highest only to mother's breast milk. So lots of essential fatty acids, which satisfy your hunger. Now, the other pigment I want to mention, and it's mostly in chlorella, but we'll talk about it because it's also in spirulina, is chlorophyll. Why am I mentioning chlorophyll when we're talking about satisfying your hunger? Well, 
The blue pigment I didn't mention, called phycocyanin, is a water-based pigment. <clears throat> but chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. And so, again, it's, it heals your cell walls, but it's, it contributes to that satiation because it's a fat. Who knew? And you can go online and you'll find this out. So spirulina is known for satisfying your hunger because of the high protein that's immediately absorbed, essential fatty acids which satisfy your hunger, and it gives you focus. It, part of the reason it gives you focus is because of this ability. That, uh, it, it has a, one thing I also want to mention about the blue phycocyanin. It speeds up the process in, of what's called the electron transport chain. Mm -hmm. It speeds up one of the helper molecules called cytochrome C. So it generates, it's, it generates energy faster. And guess what? Your brain has the most mitochondria per cell. Mm -hmm. There's 2 million mitochondria per cell. So one of the first things it does, it helps improve your mitochondria in your brain, which help you improve your focus. So does, um, it also has high iron, which carries oxygen. And of course, oxygen is important for focus and energy. So spirulina's big claim to fame is it satisfies your hunger, gives you mental focus, physical energy, and really heals your, um, your mitochondria. But it's all done at the cellular level. This, I tell people, it, you know, um, the, a stimulant, you, you wouldn't want to take a stimulant before bed. You could take spirulina before your bed, but let's face it, you're usually hungry and tired and want focus for either work or working out during the day. So have it in the morning, have more at lunch. When you hit a, a drop, uh, energy drop, because your cortisol drops around two or three o'clock in the afternoon, have more. It's food. You can't have too much of it. Your poop will be a little green if you take over 30 tablets, just to let you know. So, um, but that's what, um, um, it's used by Olympic teams, Olympic athletes, professional athletes. This is your best pre-workout fuel in the world and very efficient nutrition. So lots of, um, if you're a competitive boxer or dancer, you want the nutrition, but you don't want the calories because there's only one calorie per tablet. Mm -hmm. um, so you could take 30 for lunch for 30 calories, be nourished, completely nourished, um, have all of your nutrient bal balance for the day. Uh, that's why I call it your nutritional insurance. And then everything else after that is, is bonus. So um, those are the main, the top three, your focus, your energy, mitochondria, and sports performance. I love that. I mean, sold. Right. <laughs> now you start to know why I have so much of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I love and, that. And I will mention, by the way, one more thing I, I forgot. It has more collagen in it than collagen powder. And in fact, we actually have two brands of spirulina. One's called Energy Bits, the main one. But then I made a second one called Beauty Bits because I found women to like the packaging of the blue one. And then I found out it has more collagen than collagen powder, up to 400% more. Wow. And so your, your skin is made of collagen. Uh, uh, so this protects your skin and it also protects your elastin. So it improves your skin health. Um, it has all those antioxidants to stop free radical damage. You'll notice I have virtually no wrinkles. It, 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 it made me, we I felt weird about it for the longest time, but it's just like, <laughs> it is what it is. So I uh, think of this as, as your, your uh, beauty from the inside. I love that. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Okay. So let's switch to over chlorella. chlorella. Yeah. What are the benefits? And we're taking it in the evening. Yes. Right? So. so, and you could take chlorella any time of day, but it will not ever satisfy your hunger or give you energy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, because I think most of that comes from that um, high, uh, high the, the blue pigment and, and the um, rapid absorption. Chlorella is known as a wellness health healing detoxing algae, which is why we recommend you take it before bed. Why is that? Your body goes through a detox repair cycle while you're sleeping. This is when, um, because when you're sleeping, if you get into that deep sleep, your brain actually shrinks, which allow, and your brain has its own lymphatic system. It's called a glymphatic system. So it's like having the street washers in there while you're, while you're sleeping. It also, this is when your repair cycle happens, when stem cells are released. By the way, chlorella helps release stem cells. Chlorella also has something called chlorella growth factor, which speeds up the growth of your cells. Um, and it's very detoxing because the big claim to fame for chlorella is it has a hard cell wall. Spirulina, remember, has no cell, cellulose wall at all. Chlorella has the hardest in the plant kingdom. And what that cellulose wall does is attaches to toxins, heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, glyphosate, pesticide, lactic acid, alcohol, and chelates them. Yes, chlorophyll is cleansing, but, um, and you have some chlorophyll in the blue one, but chlorella is detoxing. 
So it's very, very important. To, um, and if you're anyone's taking chemotherapy, take chlorella the day after your treatment because it will pull out the excess chemo. Um, also, chlorella has the highest glutathione in the world. Glutathione is very detoxing as well. Lots of people get glutathione uh, IV drips. And we encourage you to take chlorella with the IV drip or after because it will extend the benefits of the glutathione drip because the glutathione has what's called a very short half-life, which means it's absorbed um, and it's gone within about an hour and a half. This will extend that. So back to what chlorella, very detoxing because of the heart cell wall, highest chlorophyll in the world. Chlorophyll has the same chemical composition as your hemoglobin. You can go online to, to see that. Uh, we have some, we're going to give you some slides that you can share yeah. with the community. Um, so the only difference is your, your hemoglobin has an iron atom in the middle and chlorophyll has a magnesium iron, but otherwise they're identical. This is why mm. chlorophyll has been given to patients for centuries when they had injuries. Even as wor- recent as World War II, if they ran out of blood for transfusions, they would give the injured liquid chlorophyll because they would heal just as fast as if they'd had a blood transfusion because it's virtually identical in the chemical composition. So when you have healthy blood, you're going to have a healthier body. The problem is our vegetables, like we said, the soils are so damaged, nothing has chlorophyll in it anymore. Uh, your, my arugula goes yellow after day three. Chlorella algae has 500 times more arugula, or more chlorella, chlorophyll, sorry, than <laughs> arugula and 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. Lots of people are taking liquid chlorophyll. That's great. But take chlorella because you're going to get more chlorophyll and you're going to get protein and 40 vitamins and minerals and all these other goodies. So detoxing because of the heart cell wall, cleansing because of the blood building because of the chlorophyll, and it uh, has fiber, which feeds Hmm. your gut biome, which so they can have, you can have, uh, it's like a prebiotic. So it heals the gut biome that heals the bacteria in your gut. Um, so that's really important. Chlorophyll, by the way, kills bacteria. It kills it. Remember I mentioned it kills, um, the uh, algae kills bacteria in the water. It's that It's primarily the chlorophyll. That's what chlorophyll does in your body too. And chlorella has the highest. So it cleanses. If you chew it, it, it uh, kills bacteria in your mouth. It certainly kills it in your colon. Um, and it tr- moves all the way through your liver. That's why your poop is green because only about 10% is actually absorbed. The rest of it works its way through your colon. So it's very much a gut health algae. Mm. Um, very, very healing, very, very detoxing. And it also, as I mentioned, stimulates stem cells. And the other thing, the other reason I love, pe- I love telling people to take chlorella is because It stimulates peristalsis, which is a fancy way to say bowel movement. A lot of people eat vegetables because they know they're good for them. And, you know, I I taught plant-based nutrition for a year, but uh, lots of people don't like them. As you get older, you have fewer digestive enzymes, so they're harder to digest. If you're on medication, you probably are constipated. If you are traveling, you're probably constipated. If you're eating gluten, dairy, you're probably constipated. Chlorella solves the problem and it solves it effortlessly without the need for any vegetables. So when you're getting all the nu- nutritional insurance from spirulina and you're getting the well, I call this your health insurance. Chlorella is your health insurance and it cleans out what I call the junk in your trunk. Wow. Um, so it's very, very powerful. That's why we encourage people to take both of them because it, you know spirulina is very high in protein. And even, um, even if you weren't taking it and you were constipated, you need to add chlorella because um, it's the easiest, simplest, proven um, way for your digestive GI tract to heal. They use it for IBS and Crohn's disease and have for 30 mm. or 40 years. Wow. But if, and you could take 10 to, at night for the chlorophyll cleansing part. If you want the detox benefits, you need the full 30 because if you don't take at least 30, it won't be able to hold on to the um, toxins and pull them out. By the way, toxins are removed from your body four ways. One is through breath, one is through sweating, third is through urine, and the fourth is through bowel movements. So I know a lot of your community are biohackers, and yay biohackers, I'm one too. 
This is the bio, best biohack in the world. Add this to your red light therapy. Take the spirulina before, chlorella after. Add this to your, um, your plunging or your cryotherapy because in the plunge or the cryo, your body, your body pulls the blood to the core because it thinks it's dying because it's so cold. <laughs> and so the spirulina gets in your body so quickly, it's nourishing it while it's in there and stimulating at autophagy and apoptosis to kill all the senescent cells. And then when uh, and then when you step out of the cryo or the plunge, take or, or sauna, take the chlorella. So it will pull all the toxins that were released either through the sweating or the other biohack. So spirulina before, chlorella after. You could take the chlorella before too because it does take about a good hour and a bit to get absorbed. Spirulina is mm-hmm. instant. Chlorella, because it has that hard cell wall, is about an hour and a half. That's why... We tell people also, you'll love this. If you take chlorella after you drink alcohol, uh, it pulls all the alcohol out in an hour and a half. You will be stone sober in an hour and a half. Doesn't matter whether it's wine, liquor, beer, and you will never have a hangover because your body converts the alcohol to a toxin. And so the chlorella detects that and pulls it out of your bloodstream. Um, so it's so you're fresh as a daisy the next morning. <laughs> well, that's definitely a hangover hack. Although, you know, I, I think you probably know this, but I don't drink. Yeah. So, yeah. But if you do, yeah. I mean, you know, occasionally might wanna... people who are listening may want a little. Yeah. I don't drink. I drink very, very little. Um, yeah. But every once in a while, I feel a little celebratory. So. Well, hey, if there's a better way to get around that, I mean, the yeah. next day hangover. Yeah. I and as you that. get older, it's it's it, your recovery takes it's harder and harder. Honestly. So. Yeah. Take it from someone who's twice your age. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, you've answered so many of my questions just actually on your own. I want to talk about how it's grown, what the benefits are. I love the idea of stacking it. I mean, I would say that like sauna is a non-negotiable. So taking this with Absolutely. sauna, if you want to do it with yeah. sauna, should you do it like an hour before sauna then? Oh, spirulina or... it takes 10 minutes to get into your bloodstream. So you okay. can just pop it in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And again, don't. Um, it still has chlorophyll, which is cleansing. Yeah. Um, but the detox is the is the chlorella. You could take both of them beforehand if you just want to make it easy. Mm-hmm. I, I I know people like instructions, and so before and after is yeah. um, <laughs> sort of the easiest. But by the way, what, when I was talking about dosage, I know you're about to start a family, yeah. and anyone who does have a family, I want you to know these are perfectly safe for children. Not all algae companies, but I can, uh, I know from, because I oversaw absolutely everything. These are the cleanest, purest, safest food you'll ever put in your body, especially the spirulina, because children, uh, even newborns and, and pregnant moms, because the, the this gets into your into the um, fetus while you're pregnant. And that GLA is, you're going to have a couple Einsteins popping out uh, because mm-hmm. of the brain development. So give, we generally suggest half of their age. So if they're 10 Give them five tablets uh, of each, or just start spirulina if you want. Or if they're four, give them two a day. Um, and yeah, I'm sure there's lots of soccer moms listening. This is so much better for them before a game than a, one of those bars. I won't name any of them. There's yeah. zero sugar in any either of our algae, zero caffeine, um, zero toxins, zero metals, uh, just 100% pure nutrition and the kids actually like to chew them because it turns their tongue screen i think i had <laughs> yeah. some before uh before we started speaking yeah that um, is fun. they think it's a riot and this is the other great thing your pets will love them they will love <laughs> you if you drop a couple on the table not your cats your dogs we even had um a heart surgeon send us a a video a couple of weeks ago his his neighbor has a pet raccoon and the raccoon was visiting them oh. and they gave the raccoon some tablets that they would have a blend called vitality bits and the raccoon loved them and tried to bury his head into the bag where they came from it was so it was just a little pet you know almost like a little cat mm. size but um and i do have a funny story too on the animals uh, another um f- uh, friend was camping in the appalachians and in the middle of the night two o'clock in the morning a bear broke into their camp so everybody rushed away and they left everything on their you know um, sleeping bags and when they came back the bear had found the baggies of supplements, had ripped the baggies open. All the supplements were still there. But they found, he must have found, he obviously found the bag of energy bits, the spirulina tablets, ripped the bag open, licked it clean. Wow. Not a single tablet to be found. <laughs> wow. So raccoons, bears, cats, dogs, they know a good thing. The animals are smarter than we are. Yeah. So 
So this is a great food for you, your, your, your furry friends, your children. Uh, and by the way, I also, also want to mention this, our parents are aging. And um, it doesn't matter what age or whether they're, it's particularly if they're a nursing home or assisted living, because my mother was in one, um, the stuff they feed them is just disgusting. It's just white mush. And if they aren't sick when they go there, they certainly get sick from lack of nutrition. There's probably more nutrition in one of these tablets than they probably get all week. Horrible. Please give this to your parents. Um, we have uh, uh, cl- pay, uh, customers who have had Alzheimer's, and this has removed their dementia, their brain fog, within 24 hours. We're, we've done our own clinical trials. We worked with uh, w- uh, military veterans who had been discharged for 15 years because of uh, mental p- post-traumatic stress disorder, difficulty in thinking, couldn't sleep. Um, we did brain scans. Uh, before we had a little clinical trial with them, we gave them one pouch of spirulina, 30 tablets a day. We had them uh, do um, monitors. After 30 days, inflammation was in their brains because we did another brain scan, virtually gone. Wow. In 30 days, not a drug, just a food, just an, because of the blue phycocyanin and the superoxidismutase and all the other nutrients that are brain, uh, which has been proven to, to protect your um, all your brain functioning. It's, it's amazing. So, so for your older aging parents, please get them to take at least the spirulina. If they can only take one, take the spirulina. That's the one that is the most healing for your mitochondria. Um, the chlorella is very much a gut health algae, but spirulina, I call it brain food, uh, because of the uh, mitochondria. And we know fatty, uh, fatty fish are good for our brain. And a lot of that's because of the omega-3. And I tell people, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from? <laughs> from the yeah. algae. Yeah. That makes right. a lot of sense. Yeah. But I love it too because it's easy. I love it. Effortless. You can, like easily incorporate it. Either just swallow them, chew them. I usually swallow them or um, add them to smoothies. So yes. I think it makes it really simple. And these packets are great because you can take them on the go. Yeah. You can take so. them everywhere. You know, uh, smoothies. And I see a lot of people making green, getting green powders, but you know, they're still messy. You still have to have a mixer or water handing by, handing by. And also, let's face it, those green powders are made in factories with high heat. Uh, and I know they all have spirulina and chlorella in them. But as soon as you expose um, any nutrient to high heat, you deactivate the efficacy of that nutrient. So sure, there's spirulina and chlorella in some of those green powders, but I can almost promise you they don't have the same eff- efficacy because this is a raw food. Yeah. This is almost as good as eating it real, but I, and I, I, I was so in love with this because of that very fact, effortless. People are busy. Um, they don't have time to create uh, perfect meals all the time or sometimes any time. Mm-hmm. And I call this Mother Nature's fast food um, because it gives you, it is food and it's fast. If you can swallow water in two seconds, you can be n- nourished in two seconds. And as I mentioned, they last three years and frankly, they never go bad, but what vegetable go last three years? Right. Uh, yeah. You can pop them in your handbag, your gym bag, your travel bag. Um, and uh, we sell them, as I mentioned, in large bags of tablets. But if you got the large bag, and we have a 20% discount code for your listeners, yes. Kayla, um, one serving of 10 tablets with your discount code works out to a dollar a day. Yeah. A dollar a great day. Great value. It, it, I would say every single person in the world is worth a dollar a day to protect your health, regain your health, you know, help your family be nourished. Because I'll tell you, what they're eating, what's out there, the, the rest of the world is eating is garbage. Absolute, you know, garbage in, garbage out. And it, and it's it saddens me. It absolutely. If I can stop one more person from getting cancer, my life on earth has been worth it. Mm, um, and I love that. This, this is remarkable food. Mother Nature uh, she's, she just nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly. Yeah. Well, do you have any other notes about this? Like anything that people should know? Well, um, two things. And I, I, I if you'll indulge me on a little yeah. geekiness, cause I do want people to truly understand what is really going on with these mitochondria. Why are they so important? And if you protect your mitochondria, they will protect you. Uh, and all research, um, virtually all pharmaceutical research now is focused on mitochondria. It's the holy grail um, for longevity and um, preventing heart, you know, any kind of chronic disease, infl- inflammation. By the way, we all know that inflammation 
is called the silent killer. And it, and 90% of that inflammation is occurring in your mitochondria. These mitochondria are the, they're known as the um, generator of, of cellular energy. And to help you understand how powerful they are, think of your body uh, compared to like an office tower. And so in an office tower, what ha- the work is done in the cells. And in your body, the work is done in your cells, you know, the cleansing and the oxygen and the nutrients and toxins out. But in the office tower, in the cells, what allows the work to be done? The lights. Mm -hmm. If your lights aren't on, (laughs) you can't very well do any work. What allows the work in your cells to be done? The mitochondria. Mm -hmm. They are the lights that keep your life on. And when, as you get older, and we'll explain in a minute, or I'll explain in a minute, more of the mitochondria die or get damaged. Effectively, your lights are going out. And as you have more and more lights going out, you have less and less energy. And when you have less and less energy, cellular energy, your body, your brain doesn't have enough cellular energy to work. Your lymphatic system doesn't have enough energy to work. Your immune, it's like, I say cellular energy is like money. When you have more money, you can do more things and you have more choices. When you have Mm -hmm. more cellular energy, you can do more things and you have more choices. But it gets even worse because in the office tower, the lights, so when the lights go out in the office tower, maintenance just comes and repairs them. Mm -hmm. But and they're fueled by electricity. In your body, there are no maintenance people. Yeah. <laughs> or, well, actually there is. It's called superoxidismetase. But the mitochondria are more than just the light bulbs. They are the electricity. They mm-hmm. are the electricity. So when you lose your mitochondria, you're losing everything. Everything. So the reason why the lights are going out is because the mitochondria have their own DNA you have your regular DNA, there's 22,000 of them, but your mitochondria have 37. You think, eh, how important could 37 mitochondria, you know, DNA mm-hmm. be? Well, those 37 control all the other my- uh, DNA and the cellular communication. They're like an air controller at an airport. Mm-hmm. Not many of those guys in an airport, but look what they do. They control everything. So those few mitochond- mitochondria DNA inside the mitochondria, where the ATP is produced, where the f- free radicals are produced, are control everything. So when they get damaged, it's, it's, you know, it's a downhill, downhill spiral. Right. So this, so the, you probably know what an antioxidant is. It's an, it's an atom that has an unpaired electron and, and mother nature likes balance. So it will balance itself. It will steal an electron from another molecule causing tissue damage. And then that molecule is unbalanced. So it will steal an electron from the next one. This is how tissue damage occurs. Then there's these things called antioxidants. They're like the, the hero of the day. They have excess electrons that they can donate to a free radical to neutralize it and calm it down. Here's the problem. Your mitochondria have two membranes. It has the lipid membrane that all of your other cells have on the outside, but your mitochondria have a second lipid membrane on the inside. No other cell has this, just your mitochondria. And it's left over from the day when it's a single cell organism and then it got absorbed by a larger cell. Anyways, so this second inner membrane is impenetrable by your average antioxidant. Vitamin C can't get in there. Vitamin E can't get in there. There, This is why they've been doing all sorts of tests with certain antioxidants and saying they have no effect on longevity. Yeah, because they were using the wrong antioxidants. Those antioxidants can't get into the inner membrane. There are only a handful that can. Chlorophyll, glutathione, and superoxidismutase, all of which are in the highest concentration in algae. Spirulina has the highest superoxidismutase. Chlorella has the highest chlorophyll and glutathione, so they both work. But let's focus on the superoxidismutase because, as I mentioned, your body stops making it, so now your mitochondria aren't protected from this superoxide, mm-hmm. because superoxide is the free radical that is produced in the mitochondria, and it is the most damaging free radical of all free radicals. What makes it so damaging? Because it has three unpaired electrons. Nowhere else is there this damaging superoxide. Mm-hmm. Superoxide dismutase is the antioxidant. It's like having the fireman in there, it just hoses it down, turns it into water and oxygen. Ta-da! Your mitochondria are saved. And the reason why this is so important is because in the process of generating uh, cellular energy, there's a process called um, the electron transport chain. And so when when you have a mitochondria that's damaged, what happens is it expands. 
uh, it expands. And so those little electrons, those molecules in the electron transport chain that generate the actual energy, they're sort of like a relay race. You know when you watch a relay race, there's a runner who has a baton and they pass the baton to the next runner and then the next runner runs a distance and passes the baton. Hopefully they win, they cross the finish line. Well, it's sort of how your electron transport chain works, except instead of runners, you have molecules. And instead of a baton, you have electrons. So when you have a damaged mitochondria that's expanding, in a healthy one, those, those, those molecules in the electron transport chain are really close together. So they can pass the electron very efficiently, which gives you lots of energy, and, and everybody's happy, and very few free radicals are produced. When the mitochondria are damaged, they expand. And what happens is those molecules become further and further apart from one another. Sort of like with the cellular tower, if they're too far apart from one another, your, your call drops because it's not strong enough to move the process along. That's, so number two, when your mitochondria get damaged and expand, first thing that goes is your energy because the electrons can't be transferred like the, the runners. So A, you're not getting enough electron uh, cellular energy generated, but even worse, what happens? If those electrons aren't being passed from one molecule to the next, they don't disappear. What happens is they leak out into the mitochondria and become free radicals, which causes even more damage, mm -hmm. which causes them to expand even more, which causes the little molecules that are your, your, your runners in the race to, to be further and further apart of, from one another until finally it explodes. And this is called necrosis. And then all the gunk and the, the negative electrons that are in there flow, blow out to the rest of the tissues. And this is why chronic disease and, and, set, and cancer spread so quickly. It's because there's inefficient electron transport chain activity, leaking more elect free radicals into the body of the mitochondria, which causes further and further damage. But I have a really cool thing to tell you. And this is why, again, I love spirulina so much. And I call it intelligent food because you have to be intelligent to take it. And it knows what to do in your body. Mm -hmm. Check this out. So in those molecules, those four, those runners that are passing electrons instead of the baton from one another, there's two helper molecules, two little guys that help that, that whole process. One you've probably heard of called CoQ10. And CoQ10 is actually a fat-based molecule. And by the way, chlorophyll matched with red light, whether red light devices or the sunlight, speed up the CoQ10 molecule so that it generates more cellular energy. Pretty sweet. And yeah, Remember, chlorophyll that. is in both the spirulina and the chlorella. But here's the one you don't know about, probably, and really will need to know about it, because this is where a lot of the science is going right now. The other helper molecule is something called cytochrome C. And what cytochrome C does, if it's a healthy cell, the blue pigment in, in the, in the, called phycocyanin in spirulina speeds up that cytochrome C molecule. It's like having a Tesla. Vroom! This is one of the reasons, one of many reasons why spirulina gives you energy. It speeds up that cytochrome C molecule. But here's the other cool thing. In a senescent cell, which is a zombie cell, it doesn't do anything anymore except it's inflammatory, or a cancer cell, that, that phycocyanin deactivates the cytochrome C molecule, which uh, triggers capases, which causes ap apoptosis and kills the cancer cell or senescent cell automatically, wow. automatically. And so there, there's so much research. They're now realizing this little molecule, this little helper molecule that has been there forever and no one's paid any attention to it is probably the most important thing in life or death. It is the thing that decides whether your cell lives or dies, this little tiny helper, uh, helper molecule. And uh, they even use it in chemotherapy now. They measure how much um, how, how effective the treatments are based on how much cytochrome C is in your bloodstream. Because if, you, if, if it's being ejected, it's because it's, be, it's, being, it's cancer cells that are dying. And so they can measure that by how much cytochrome C is in your bloodstream. And raise your hand if you want chemotherapy or radiation. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. This is Mother Nature's way of protecting us from cancer. It's the, it's the blue, fake, blue pigment in spirulina, called phycocyanin, and you can Google phycocyanin, P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-N-A-N-I-N, and cancer treatments, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Who wow. knew, right? 
please, 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 everybody in the world, especially women, there's like, they're now saying one in two women are getting breast cancer or any cancer. We can stop this. Our bodies are so intelligent. They're the, the most expensive piece of equipment you'll ever have. And we have been given an opportunity to protect ourselves from things like cancer from this nutrient called phycocyanin. Now, just a, as a caveat, because I don't want the FDA to shut me down, I'm not saying algae prevents cancer. I am saying that there are nutrients found in spirulina, called, one called phycocyanin, that the, the scientific community have shown can kill cancer cells, can kill cancer cells. So it's not pre- preventing, and I'm not a doctor, and I'm not a medical professional. I'm just sharing nutritional knowledge that I have uncovered. I've read over 3,000 PubMed articles. I spent, I've spent weekends, 15 years I've been researching this science of algae because I had to find out why does ours work so well? <laughs> and what are the nutrients that are doing these amazing things? Um, and nobody else is talking about it. I don't think anybody else knows, even though the yeah. science is there. It's the science is there, but, uh, and I don't say anything unless I have a science reference. So I am just, um, so remember cytochrome C, Google cytochrome C, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The science, they've been researching this for 20, 25 years, but nobody knows it's, it can, it can be triggered by phycocyanin. Well, I love it. I mean, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, at the end of the day, there we are receiving so much information regarding nutrition. This is a pretty affordable, easy to access way yeah. to add in nutrients. A dollar you know, a day. Your baseline. Yeah, I love it. So we do have a code, right? It's so Kayla, code Kayla, Kayla. And is it a 20% off 20% discount? 20% off uh, at our website, energybits.com. It doesn't work on our subscriptions, but it does work on any single... We have bags and boxes and fun canisters that... Uh, and singles pouches, um, and everybody in the world should be taking spirulina. Um, and we have the two brands, Energy Bits and Beauty Bits. Beauty Bits has a pink, fl- excuse me, flower on it. Is it the um, same? Um, what the exactly? Difference is, it's terms? just the packaging. Oh, got it. I, I, you know, I started the company because my sister and breast cancer. I, you know, women's health has always been my number one. And if women didn't like my packaging. I was going to give them one that they did, and also the, the collagen. Um, yeah. And then the chlorella, which is the wellness algae, detoxing algae, it's called Recovery Bits, and it's mm-hmm. in a green package because it's a plant. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the uh, chlorella, and then we have a blended mm-hmm. algae called Vitality Bits, which is you know a blend of the two of them. Nice. So you, could, you could take the blended one. And, um, but everybody should be taking the spirulina. There is a small number of people that react to the chlorella because it gives you, can, can give you detox symptoms. If you have any doubts that you might be one of those, just go to Amazon if you live in America, and you can buy a little single pouch for you know $6. It's the green pouch, the green pouch. Mm-hmm. Um, try it out and then come back to the website energybits.com and, and um, buy the full bag or the canister or the box or something. Um, and my final parting would say, be, would be um, I've spent 15 years digging through the research. I'm so eager to share the knowledge. But what I want people to know is algae isn't new. It's just new to you. And mm-hmm. you probably didn't know about chia or kiwa or matcha or bone broth uh, until somebody, and these are things that have been used in other countries for centuries. Um, yeah. and so you didn't know about algae, but the Aztecs used it. The Egyptians used it. The science dates back to the 1800s. 1800s. Mm. Wow. They've known about this. So it's, you know, give it a try. Honestly, it's effortless. You can swallow water. Boom. You've got the nutritional um, needs met with spirulina. And for detox and cleansing and gut and wellness, boom, 10 of the, um, of the chlorella at night and the blended tablet work. But it's effortless, easy, safe for the entire family, pets, um, and it will, you know, I, I think it will also, it's the most eco-friendly sustainable crop in the world. So I think it's going to save the world as, and us. <laughs> well, I love, I love your passion and energy for it. And this has been 
highly educational and very exciting. I mean, and you know what? You're a testament to your own yeah, product and your own child. work. This you... is, this, I'm, all, I'm getting inching towards 70. People, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> this 70 is like the new 40 if you take algae every day. Like there I you do. go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, your energy, your focus is great. I yeah. mean, all the things. So yeah. it's been such a pleasure to have you, you here with me today. Thank you so much. It's Absolutely. terrific. This podcast is for informational purposes only and views expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Kayla Barnes, does not accept responsibility for any possible adverse effects from the use of the information contained herein. Opinions of their guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. Individuals on this podcast may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical issue, consult a licensed physician.